Scoliosis, not such an easy thing to assimilate. It's a huge topic. There's so many aspects of it and so much to know about it. What I've tried to do is pare it down so that if somebody walks in with scoliosis, you know what to look for, you know what you're dealing with, and you know what you can do and what you can't do. Okay, so for exercises, what should be our primary focus? We need to develop a program based on the client's needs and their desires. That's always true, but it's really true here. We need to improve posture. We're gonna decrease pain if we improve posture. We really will. Um, you need to think about increasing balance and strength. Um, again, asking by, by asking for neutral posture and positioning. Um, and we need to focus on active correction versus passive correction. So passively correcting somebody is not going to be their long-term, give them long-term benefit. Actively correcting them is, having them actively correct themselves is what's going to make the difference. Because then we're contracting the right muscles and we're getting, we're actually putting some pull on the vertebra from the muscles, right, and on the curve from the muscles in the right direction. So um, exercise progression, I started with the roller. Something supine, um, I thought, is going to be less gravity load, right? We said that gravity load is not a great thing or axial loading is not a great thing or a harder thing. Um, and I thought for posture, what's, our fav what's my favorite thing to do with people when I'm working on posture is foam roller, right? So what will that foam roller give us? Posture, it'll give us balance and stability and it will give us posture again because I was so into posture. <laughs> it will give us exercises that will open and elongate the trunk. We're going to open the chest, right? Um, with our arm, just the arm series is going to open the chest. It's going to show them sort of that imbalance from side to side. So somebody with a scoliotic curve isn't going to have the same, isn't going to feel the same on what, with one leg down and with the other leg down in the dead bug, right? One side's going to be a lot easier for them than the other usually. So it will show us that feature. Uh, we can also use um, lat stretching, the kneeling lat stretch. We can also do thoracic mobility if, we're pain, if she, the person's pain free. Right? We don't want to do that if they're having pain there, but we might be able to do it if there's just muscular tension, right? help release some of the muscular tension. And you can keep that down for now, and then opposite leg. Okay. Right. So yeah, now you have to hold both still without tightening that shoulder. <laughs> Oops, I haven't done this in a while. Yes. Okay. So yeah, I mean, what's happening is she's going to have to balance pelvis and balance thoracic. So my primary concern is leveling the spine, right? We're going to pretend that Carlin has a scoliosis and I'm going to pretend that she has a left thoracolumbar curve happening over here because she's kind of positioned that way for some reason. Maybe her pelvis is a little tilted. So we're going to pretend that she's here, right? You can bring this leg up to make that happen. Typically, I'd be lining people up. I'm, I'm purposely mal-aligning her. My work with her, before we do anything, I just put her in quadruped, and my work with her is I'm going to take a look at her spine. And if I need to, I'm going to get up here right behind her and take a look at her spine. So what I'm looking for is midline. Where's her midline? So if she has a left curve here, I'm going to give her a curve. Right, I'm going to ask her to try and come out of that curve by cueing her. So I'm going to say, okay, I want you to try and lower this hip. That's not fair because I made her move her leg. but <laughs> And so I can have her lower that hip. If I still see something up here, so pretending that this is higher now than, than um, this side, I'm going to say, okay, can you let this drop down just a little bit on that side? Right, so I can try and level her in that direction, right? So I'm going to work with her. And can you contract in this ribcage and pull this down a little bit this way? Right, that didn't look so good. So we're going to go back here, right? So lengthening through there, but keeping the shoulder blade down. So she has no idea what I'm asking because, <laughs> right? But, but you know, it is like sculpting. So I'm going to get her, I'm going to slide your leg back now. And surprisingly, she gets to neutral, right? as close to neutral as I can get her. And then, and then I'm gonna add challenge.